Namaste everyone. Welcome to the virtual investiture ceremony of Daffodils Foundation for Learning 2021-22. It is my honor and privilege to be anchoring this program. If your actions create a legacy that inspires others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, then you are an excellent leader. Good morning. I take the opportunity to welcome all the distinguished guests on this special occasion of investiture ceremony of the school. Investiture means a formal investing of a person with authority, power, right, office and dignity. It's rightly said that leaders are not born, they are made. Investiture ceremony is one of the most important ceremonies of the school. A traditional feature of Daffodils Foundation for Learning, eagerly awaited by all the students of the school. Year after year, it reminds us of the trust and confidence that we repose in our newly elected student council. Donning the mantle of responsibility, they all pledge to dispense their duties to the best of their abilities and abide by rules and regulations of the school. It is always good to start a new journey filled with challenges by invoking God's blessings. A lady who is the epitome of patience, a lady with the most calm and composed mind. May I now request our dear Vice Principal, Mrs. Pratibha V. Rao, to kindly address the gathering. Namaste and a wonderful morning to each and every one of you. Invest Teacher Ceremony is indeed a very memorable event in every student's life. This helps the students to unfold their leadership skills. It's a much-awaited ceremony every year. On this occasion, I consider it my honor to extend a warm welcome to each and every one of you. First and foremost, I take this opportunity to welcome the secretary of our school, Mrs. Madhuri Chengappa, who is a wonderful leader herself. She leads each one of us with love and compassion. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us today. I extend a hearty welcome to our CEO, Mr. A.P. Chinnappa, who is always an inspiration for the young leaders of our school. He has innovative ideas for our school which motivate us to think differently. Thank you very much, sir, for your gracious presence. A very warm welcome to our principal, Dr. Sujata Girish, who has established herself as an efficient leader in various platforms. She drives each one of us to do our best at all times. A hearty welcome to our Senior Academic Coordinator, Mrs. Triveni Raghavendra, who leads her team and students with distinctive clarity of thought. I extend a warm welcome to our CCA Coordinator, Mrs. Ramya Rao, who has organized this program so well even during this pandemic situation. Every teacher is a leader who plays an important role in molding every student's character. A very warm welcome to you all, dear teachers. What is Invest Teacher Ceremony without you all, dear children? A very warm and cheerful welcome to each one of you. This program is organized specially for you. Dear students, you are amidst wonderful leaders. If you inculcate some leadership skills from each one of them around you, you will definitely turn out to be very successful. A warm welcome once again. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. We now move on to the handing over ceremony. Success isn't just about what you accomplish in your life. It's about what you inspire others to do. The outgoing student council has done excellently in discharging their duties for the academic session 2021. I'm happy to announce that the house mistresses of the academic session 2021 will continue to remain the house mistresses for the academic session 21-22. On behalf of the outgoing student council, the head boy, Jinkar Rajesh, will now address us. Namaste. We, the outgoing student council members, 
are handing over our duties and responsibilities to the newly appointed student council members. We have done our duties to the best of our abilities and knowledge. We wish good luck to the new student council. Thank you. Thank you, Jinka. I am sure though it was on an online platform and though it was a virtual session, we have managed to gather some beautiful memories in the year that has passed by. All the best to the outgoing student council members and children do remember whether you are a leader or not, whether you are a part of the student council or not. Our loyalty and our duties towards the school always remains the same. On that note, let us move on to the next part of the ceremony. I request Mrs. Ramya, our CCA coordinator, to introduce us to the newly instilled student council members. Namaste. This is your CCA coordinator, Mrs. Ramya Rao. I know you all have been eagerly waiting for this moment. Let me not make you wait any longer. With pride and pleasure, I would now like to announce the names of the student council members for the academic year 2021-22. Let me start from Akash House. Captain Ms. Sudik Shakiran, Vice Captain Master Sharat Rao and Prefect Ms. Veda C. Nair. Prithvi House, Captain Ms. Shreya Kiran, Vice Captain Master Srihari Srikant Rao and Prefect Master Shankara. Tejas House, Captain Master Siddharth S, Vice Captain Master Karthik and Prefect Master Samit. Sagarika House, Captain Ms. Vibhagangamma, Vice Captain Master Tarun K and Prefect Ms. Indira Huli. Sports Captain Boy Master Gautam, Sports Captain Girl Ms. Vedika Kutian and CCA Captain Ms. Likita P.S. Head Girl Ms. Maitri Shankar and Head Boy Master Aniruddha Suswaram. Congratulations young leaders, get up to work as a team. At this moment, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the outgoing members of the Student Council 2020-21. Hearty congratulations to all the four house in charges. Now, I would like to invite our sports coordinator, Mr. Sri Hari Utagi, to announce the names of the Discipline Squad students. Sir, over to you. Namaste to all. I am happy to announce the student's name selected as Discipline Squad for the year 2021-22. Uh, names as follows. In charge, Anvita, followed by Jankar Rajesh, Khushi Sunil, Aryan S. Yes, Ila Chakravarti, Dhru Acharya, Pratik M, Aditya M, Tanisha and Gayatri. Congratulations to all the selected students and my sincere thanks to outgoing member of student council for their excellent support. Thank you. Do well all you do. Thank you Ramya ma'am. I am sure the newly elected student council members are all excited to get into the role of leaders and perform the duties as expected from the school. Congratulations children. Thank you sir. We now move on to the installation ceremony. Change is the way of life. The student council members are all set to take on those duties with a smile and ready to face the challenges the year would throw at them. The head boy Aniruddha Suswara on behalf of the student council members is here to do the needful. Namaste. We, the newly appointed student council members 2021-22 are taking over our duties and responsibilities from the outgoing student council members. We wish to express our willingness to accept and deliver the assigned duties and responsibilities. Thank you. Thank you Anirudh. All the best for the new role you have donned as the head boy of the school. All the best to the newly elected student council members and the discipline squad members. We now have the message given by the house mistresses who are the captain of the respective houses. Mrs. Jay Lakshmi, Mrs. Parinita, Mrs. Neeta Nayak and Mrs. Rekha are here to give a heartfelt welcome to newly elected student council members. 
Namaste. Swami Vivekananda, in his call to the nation, said, Give me a few men and women who are pure and selfless and I'm going to shake the world. This statement is so powerful that talks of leadership and teamwork. And I'm sure you can relate that to this day as we are witnessing the investiture ceremony for the academic year 2021-22. I, Mrs. Jay Lakshmi, Akash House Mistress, would like to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the outgoing student council members. House Captain Master Meer, House Vice Captain Sinchina for the work delivered. It must be a dotting here indeed. Working online. Good job young leaders. On the other hand, we are welcoming the newly elected student council members. House Captain Ms. Sudiksha Kiran, House Vice Captain Master Sharat Rao and Prefix Vedasi Naya. Chosen with care to take a pattern. Hearty congratulations for the work done and making to the council. I know that you will all do a great job. All the best for your future. Jai Hind. Thank you. Ellarigu namaste. Nanna hesaru neeta nai. Nanu prithvi thandada house mistress. Modalike nanu kalida sali na. Captain Sayakshita Matu, Vice Captain Gauri Varige, Dhanivadavanu Salisutene, Aderi Tieli, Ivashada Andre, two thousand twenty one twenty two, Isalina, Captain Shreya, Vice Captain Shrihari, Hago, Prefect Shankara Ivarige, Preeti Purva Kavagi, Abinandaneno Salisutene, Nivelleru, Samartha Wagi, Karinirvahisi, Thunder the Kirti and no Hichisuvirendo, Tilidirutene. Now Sakarat Makawagi Yochisidare, other a Falitam Shavu, Sakarat Makawagi, Baruta de Aderiti, Eva Shano, now Nivella Seri, Tria Shilatinda, Kelesavano, Madonna, Danevadagal. Namaste. I'm Mrs. Reka, the housemistress of Sagarika House. I extend my gratitude and congratulations to Ms. Mahati and Ms. Sakshi for their contributions and duties performed in the capacity of captain and vice captain in the academic year 2020-21. Always remember, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I wish you both best of luck for all your future endeavors. My greetings to the newly elected members of Sagarika House. My congratulations and best wishes to the Captain, Ms. Vibhagangamma, Vice Captain, Master Tarun K. and Prefect, Ms. Indira Huli. Dear leaders, remember, leadership is not about a title or a designation. It's about impact, influence and inspiration in the words of Robin S. Sharma. So, have an impact, influence and inspire your house members to do their best and bring more laurels to the house. Thank you. Have a great year ahead. Namaste. I am Mrs. Paranita, house mistress of Tejas House. Today, I would like to thank two gems of Tejas House, Ms. Kushi and Master Aditya for their constant support, determination towards their house and contribution where they portrayed true leadership skills as captain and vice captain. Students, do remember, dream big, sparkle more and shine bright. My best wishes for your bright future. And as rightly said by Mr. John Adams, if your action creates a legacy that inspires others to dream more, learn more and do more, then you are an excellent leader. Congratulations, Master Siddharth, Master Karthik and Master Samit for being newly elected as Captain, Vice Captain and Prefect of Tejas House. Hope you take up the responsibilities well and dispense your duties to the best of your ability and abide by the rules and regulations of the school. Always there for your support. Let's Together, shine bright as member of Tejas House. Thank you. Have a great year ahead. Thank you, dear colleagues. I'm sure you are going to have a wonderful and successful academic journey with the newly elected student council members. 
We now move on to the most important event of the day, Oath Administration. Oath Administration is a significant event. It is more than a promise. It is your very word. It is a statement made from your very being. May I request our principal, Dr. Sujata Girish, to administer the oath to the head girl, Maitri Shankar. Greetings of the day, dear Daffodilians. Leaders become great not because of their power, but because of their ability to empower others. Quoted by John Maxwell, I unquote. I opine that this quote is apt for today's occasion. Dear outgoing student council members, you will always be remembered as the first batch of student council of our virtual school. Because of the online schooling in the last academic session, there were many limitations and limited opportunities as well. However, I must congratulate each one of you for doing an excellent job with respect to whatever tasks were assigned to each one of you. On behalf of Team DFL, I would like to express my sincere appreciation and gratitude for delivering all the duties assigned to each one of you in a commendable way. Very proud of you, my dear students, and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Now, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome the newly selected student council members. My dear students, I wish best of luck to each one of you and congratulate each one of you. Now I'm going to administer the oath. Do get ready. We, the captains of Daffodils Foundation for Learning, do resolve to follow the traditions of our school. We will lead our student community in a democratic manner, upholding the human dignity which our flag stands for. We promise to imbibe the spirit of our emblem in our quest for coexistence. Our school motto will motivate us in pursuit of excellence. Our flag and our motto will be the guiding forces in our collective endeavor. My dear students, let us do well all we do. Once again, wish each one of you best of luck. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you. We, the captains of Daffodils Foundation for Learning, do resolve to follow the traditions of our school. We will lead our student community in a democratic manner, upholding the human dignity which our flag stands for. We promise to imbibe the spirit of our emblem in our quest for coexistence. Our school motto will motivate us in pursuit of excellence. Our flag and our motto will be the guiding forces in our collective endeavor. Jai Hind! Thank you ma'am. The verses in the holy books inspires people and empowers them to face the challenges and turn it into success stories. May I request Ganesha to kindly read out the verses from Bhagavad Gita, Mrs. Varsha to read out the verses from Quran, Ms. Rebecca to read out the verses from Bible, Kanti ma'am will read out some verses of Jainism, Neeta Janardhan ma'am will quote a few verses from Buddhism, and Shilpa ma'am will read out a few words from Sikhism. Namaste, Namo Matre, Namasabhai. Parthaya Pratibodhitam Bhagavata Narayane Naswayam Vyasena Kratitam Purana Munina Mathe Mahabharatam Advaita Mrata Varshinim Bhagavatim Ashta Dashadhyayinim Ambatva Manusam Dathami Bhagavat Kite Bhavad Veshinim Elarno Namaskarasutta Nayakanagi Padavian Alankarasutta Nimge Shri Krishna Bhagavad Gita Eli Parthaniga Helida Nayakanigi Rebekadantha Gunagalabagirvantha Shlokan Hilika Ishtapartini 
असद्वितीयोध्याय तृतीय श्लोक क्लेब्यमस्मक पाथ स्नैतुपद्य क्षुद्रम हृदय दौर्बल्यम तिष्ठपरम तप यदे पार्थने भयू भीतियोंबेड़ नायकन नो योग्यवू कूड़ा अल आदि हृदय भयू भीतियों विजय शोभन तुड़कूदे भीतियों भयदे धैर्य को कार्य निर्वहसे अंत धन्यवाद नमस्ते यह कुरान की आयत है नेतृत्व मनुष्य के जीवन का एक अभिन्न अंग है प्रभावी नेतृत्व लोगों को एक समान रास्ते पर लाता है और उन्हें उनके इच्छित लक्ष्य की ओर ले जाता है एक अच्छा नेता लोगों की क्षमता को हकीकत में बदल देता है धन्यवाद नमस्ते अकॉर्डिंग टू द बाइबल Effective leaders are characterized by gentleness and patience as they guide and correct their followers. Fairness is a leader's moral obligation. Leaders see strength in their followers. Great leaders are tactful. Good leaders are willing to take advice. Great leaders are delicate. Thank you. Namaste. A leader is one who instills confidence in others. Our ancient scriptures have been the guiding lamp for all the leaders in the past. Here is a quote from Mahavir Jain, the spiritual leader of Jainism, and I quote: "Leadership is not about title, designation, or power. It's about impact, influence, inspiration, vision, and responsibility." I unquote. Namaste leaders voices need to be warm and gentle assured determined and brimming with life force when they offer guidance and encouragement always acting with sincerity and integrity will allow you to become a bigger person and to strengthen and deepen your faith encouraging others in tiring circumstances is an act that brings great benefit a confident voice reassures people it is no exaggeration to say that the voice makes the leader quoted by dai sako akada thank you a leader is someone who leads by example and has the integrity to do the right thing even when it is not popular the core principle as per the sikh ideology are equality integrity and selfless service the five virtues given by guru gobind singh are truth and truthfully living compassion and patience love humility and self control wisdom and courage leadership is the ability to see a problem and be the solution thank you Thank you colleagues I am sure the holy readings have not only instilled confidence in our new student council but in all of us to face the academic year with open arms and do well all we do A young leader who is very practical and approachable loved by the students may I take the honor of inviting our CEO Mr Chinappa to share a few words of wisdom to the newly elected student council members greetings of the day to the newly elected student council members teachers dignitaries and uh, parents uh first of all my hearty congratulations to the newly elected student council members i wish you all the very best in carrying forward your duties as leaders and members of the student council uh there's a small message i'd like to give to you leaders here i have three points for you to keep in mind as leaders number 1 is as a leader you have a lot of followers one thing is to gain their respect you do not demand respect you get respect 
by your actions and by showing them that you care for them and that you are there for them. So learn to earn your followers respect rather than demanding it. Number two is never hesitate to ask for help. As a leader, you may have a lot of ideas and suggestions, but irrespective of that, uh, don't feel helpless. There are so many people around you with ideas. You may not always be the one with the right ideas to solve a problem. So please feel free to ask for help. A good leader always asks for help and always listens to people. And number three, um, always be impartial. Don't have favorites. All be impartial to everyone around you. These are the three messages of leadership that I'd like to pass on to the new student council member. I wish you the very best to carry out all your duties and God bless. Thank you, sir. May I take the honor of inviting our secretary, Mrs. Madhuri Chengappa, to address the students and share her wonderful words of wisdom and anecdotes so that we can draw some inspiration to face the new academic year 21-22. Good morning to you all outgoing and incoming leaders. I feel very humbled to be speaking to you all today. With pride and gratitude, I thank the outgoing leaders for being good role models. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, the leadership experience was not as it used to be. With all limitations, I hope the leadership experience that you have gained will put you in good stead in the years ahead and prepare you well for the future endeavors. To the incoming student leaders, your investiture makes a major milestone, both in your learning journey as well as in your personal development as little ambassadors of Daffodils Foundation for Learning. We see great potential in you all. This is a testament to the confidence that we have in your leadership capability. Try to bring in something new and discharge your responsibilities with utmost dignity. We know you are all successful and therefore you are the leaders. But children, remember a quote by Jack Welsh. I quote, before you are all leader, success is all about growing yourself. When you become a leader, success is all about growing others. I unquote. Do take everyone along with you in your journey. Do not criticize, but lend your shoulder in your journey and make DFL memories a happy one. Thank you all. Do well all you do. Thank you, ma'am. Any event is incomplete without expressing our gratitude to the many hands which are responsible for a smooth conduct of the event. Mrs. Veena will now render the oath of thanks. I've always been puzzled as to why the lion is the king of the jungle. He is not the strongest animal. He is not the heaviest animal. He is not the tallest, neither is he the fastest animal. He is not even the smartest animal. Yet, all other animals respect and recognize him as their leader. An elephant with just one stomp of his foot could kill the lion. Yet, lions eat elephants. How is this possible? It is the lion's attitude and self-belief that separates him from all other animals. The lion has not created any imaginary self-imposed limitations. Rather, he has completely freed himself of them. He believes he is unstoppable and acts accordingly. In contrast, the elephant's attitude creates imaginary self-imposed limitations which allow him to be eaten by a much smaller and weaker animal. Like the lion, your positive attitude and level of self-belief are both choices. 
They are not embedded into your DNA and hence unchangeable. They are simply decisions, your decisions. Namaste. I feel honored to propose the vote of thanks today. I begin by extending my gratitude to our CEO, Mr. Chinappa. Sir, you are a youth icon and our students look up to you as a role model. They adore you and desire to emulate you. So your thoughtful words go a long way in inspiring them. Thank you, sir. I warmly thank our secretary, Mrs. Madhuri Chengappa. Ma'am, we teachers are drawn to your narrations of anecdotes and your wise words. So what shall I say of our children? I'm sure they find them both interesting and motivating. Thank you, ma'am. I would now like to express words of gratitude to our charming principal, Dr. Sujata Girish, for administering the oath to the new student council. The love and respect children have for you has made this occasion a memorable one for them. Thank you, ma'am. Our vice principal, Mrs. Pratibha Rao, exemplifies how to take up responsibilities with a smile. Thank you, ma'am, for rendering the welcome address. The teachers in charge of the houses, Mrs. Jailakshmi, Mrs. Parnita, Mrs. Rekha, and Mrs. Nita Naik have graciously accepted to continue to steer their houses for the second consecutive term. We are grateful to you for that. Reading from the scriptures is a tradition we follow on this day every year to allow the solemnity of the occasion to sink into our new leaders. I thank Mr. Ganesh, Ms. Rebecca, Mrs. Kanti, Mrs. Shilpa Brahmananda, Ms. Nita Janardhan, Mrs. Varsha Agarwal for reading the holy verses and explaining the various facets of leadership embedded in them. Thank you. And what are we without you? Our CCA team, tech support team, admin team and physical education department? Absolutely nothing. It is you working tirelessly that makes such events a reality. Thank you. A special thanks to you, Mrs. Rajamul, for contacting the students of grade 10 of the academic year 2020-21 and doing the needful and Mrs. Ramya, Mr. Rudramuni, Mrs. Shweta for coordinating the entire program. Finally, may I express my words of gratitude to our senior academic coordinator, the vivacious Mrs. Triveni for carrying this event on her shoulders with alarm. Thank you, ma'am. My parting note to the new council is, be a lion in attitude and self-belief. This is Mrs. Veena signing off. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Everything we are currently experiencing in our lives comes about in order to assist us in evolving to a higher level of consciousness. Even what we now perceive as bad, sad, negative or upsetting is here to assist us in seeing life in a more peaceful, forgiving and loving way. On that note, we come to the end of the Investiture Ceremony of Daffodils Foundation for Learning for the academic session 21-22. All the best to the outgoing student council members and the discipline squad members and congratulations to the newly elected student council members and the discipline squad members. All the best to the house mistresses and let us do well all we do. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.